This video focuses on the Outpost 24 vulnerability prioritization tool known as Farsight. Once you have Farsight enabled via your license, you can access Farsight by going to reporting tools. You'll need to enable the columns. And if we come down to columns here, Farsight is represented by the three columns called likelihood, likelihood delta, and likelihood update date. If I select those columns, we see that those now appear in the interface here. Just like any other column, I can enable filtering. If I come down here, I go to my filter. As a best practice, we generally look at a score, a Farsight score greater than 25. Farsight scores start at one, with one being a vulnerability being as likely to be exploited as any other vulnerability. As the scores increase, with the Farsight rating going up, that's how much more likely that vulnerability is likely to be exploited, reaching a maximum of 38.46. So for best practice purposes, we typically recommend that scores greater than 25 will fit into the more serious vulnerability rating from a vulnerability prediction technology perspective. So we would recommend setting that as a filter, as we can see here in the interface. Once that's set, we can see that we've got a number that actually reached the maximum 38.46 score. And these are, as I mentioned, the ones to prioritize remediation activities. Farsight in its likelihood score here is fully integrated into the interface, including things like solutions based reporting. And we can see that in this particular example, that it's PHP where we need to focus our activities. If I return back to the findings view, you can also save the filter that we've done here as a reporting template in the way that you would for any other filtered view. And you can mix that with other filtered views too, such as, for example, whether there's an exploit available. But in this example here, I'm just going to say that this is a report template that's greater than 25. And I'll just I'll just call it that for simplicity's sake. Uh, I'll make it public so that other users of the system uh, can also access it. Uh, and as we can see, that appears in the top left there. And I've now got my reporting template. A few words about the the other columns that we've enabled. The likelihood delta is the amount that that score changed at the last update date. So as we can see with some of these, uh, they were at the initial score of one. And during the last update, they increased by 37.46 to the maximum of 38.46. And that for this top vulnerability here was on the 28th of May in 2020. Some other scores uh, you may find have different change dates because the Farsight score is very much a dynamic score. It's not set in stone. It's not just a line in the sand type score. It will change over time. It's also important to mention that the score can go up as, as well as going down, making Farsight more dynamic than perhaps other scoring mechanisms. And it enables people to focus on the vulnerabilities that are critical right now, enabling uh, a much more accurate, a much more meaningful approach to resolving and prioritizing vulnerabilities. Thank you for joining me on this session.